Welcome back to a new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, we're going to be creating a Python program that allows you to give to turn your comments just like this into actual code. And to give you an example, I will say something like compare to lists in Python. And all you'll need to do is basically just run the program. And Python will actually take your comment and generate usable code for you just like this. As you can see, it created two lists, and then it actually started comparing it for you. And you can use this with anything else, not just Python. For example, you can create, you can say something like, create a while loop that prints elements from a list in Java. And save this, and once you run it, it will actually do that for you. It creates a while loop, it creates lists, and then it iterates over them. This is a very simple tutorial, despite the complexity here, and I'm sure you will enjoy it and love it. Now, before we begin, I actually created another video using something similar and creating a similar program, so please make sure you do check it out and maybe give it a like as well. Let's get started with this episode. Welcome back, everybody. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to be using a tool called OpenAI. And again, just a reminder, if this is your first time watching something like this, I have actually published a video before on OpenAI and how to generate text. I recommend you definitely watch it. It will help you so much with this tutorial. It's not needed, but you, it will help you. And it's just interesting to watch. I'll make sure I pop it somewhere at the top here for you to click on. Now, the first thing that you need to do is obviously go to OpenAI and create an account. And once you do, you will be presented with something like this. Now for me, if I just click on tap away over my account and then click on view API keys, you will see that I have actually generated an API key for myself. Now for this API key, I will keep it hidden throughout this whole tutorial, but you need to also generate one by clicking create new secret key. And we're going to start using that API key for this tutorial. So once you have that ready, Let's go back to Visual Studio Code and we're going to click on new file. I'll select Python file over here. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be importing a few things. So I'll import open, import open AI, import OS. And that's actually all we need at the moment. Now, if you try to click if you try to type in import open AI and it gives you like an error or it just tells you that that library is not found, all you need to do is basically just go to terminal. And inside of here, depending on how you're using it, you can either say pip3 install open AI or whatever it is. I already have it, so I'll not do that. But this statement or this um, command, sorry, whether it's pip3 or just pip, or Anaconda, whatever it is that you're using, should install this library for you. I'm gonna go ahead and shut terminal for now because we do not need it. Now, something else that I'll do is I'll go over here and I'll create our first function, which will be code comment. That's what we're gonna call it. And inside of here, I'm going to be placing a query. Let's go ahead and for now, we'll just put pass. Now, this function will be called code comment, and the reason for that is because we're basically creating this project where you can just enter a comment or basically a description, something like um, compare to Python lists for me. And our program will actually automatically convert that, co that comment into proper code that you can use. So that's why I called it code comment. And inside the query, every time someone calls that function, they're just going to be passing that comment and then it will do some work here that will convert it from comment to code. Let's go ahead over here and what I will do is I'll say open AI API. Oh, that's such a bad naming. I'll just say API key. And for now, let's just leave it blank. We'll go back and fill it. There is some more work for us to do. Now, to do this, it's actually very easy. We're going to go back to open AI and we're going to click on playground just like this. And once this page loads, all we need to do in the playground is basically give an example of us providing a comment and then expecting um, code. So all I'll say, for example, is compare to lists in Python. And for here, for these settings, I'll just leave everything as it is. I'll then go ahead and click submit. 
and you can see here that it created it did exactly what we did it created two different lists it then created a for loop and then what it did is it basically compared the two lists together it checked if uh, what object or oh, sorry what um, element is common between those two lists so this works now all we need to do now is click on view code and you'll find out that we do have some code here and all I will do is I'll basically copy everything from the bracket all the way up to the response because we already have everything here set up now we're going to go back and under the API key on line 6 here I'm going to paste this and what I'll do is I'm just going to move this like that something else that we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and replace this like that and inside of here I'm going to be placing uh, a comment just like this I'll open and close a bracket a star and then a dash again just like that over here I'm going to type in dot format open a bracket and inside of here put query so what are we doing right now well basically all I'm doing is this prompt this is basically exactly the same as what I entered over here and we're gonna be getting that query so whatever the person whenever someone calls this function they're going to be placing in a query and that query will be passed here in the in the prompt so it's exactly like someone typing it in in the playground that's great now how do we actually get a response back well now all we need to do over here is basically and we're going to start by just saying print and then we're going to say response and this will actually be enough to print that response back however right now we still don't have our API, API key included so I'm gonna go ahead and copy it from a file that I have it saved in and you do the same and just paste it inside of the API key over here now once you once I paste it you will not be able to see it hopefully because I will have something just covering it up and now we can go ahead and save this file and I'm just gonna leave it on my desktop and we can just save it as code comment tut for tutorial and save beautiful so now we've got this over here now to run this usually I like to go to the debugger so that if there's any issues we can straight away tell and I'll click on run and debug and we're going to uh, click on Python file and nothing will happen because we're not actually calling the function so let's go ahead and actually call it properly so I'll say code comment inside of here I will put um, basically a query or like a prompt so inside of here we can say cre um, create a while loop that prints element from a list and maybe this is actually a bit of a difficult uh, prompt but let's push this and see if we'll be able to get it and we can see that over here we actually have an issue it says no API key provided so let's go ahead and find out what we did over here that was wrong and let's go ahead and pause this and what we missed out on is actually to say open AI dot API key is equal to and then I'll just say API key and I believe if I save this and run it now there we go <laughs> uh, so we had our prompt and in here we should have a response somewhere so inside of here that text is our response my list it created a list for us and then it created a while loop but I don't like how this is being printed um, so let's go ahead and set it up so that it prints a bit better and before we do that maybe instead of just printing it let's put some more options so we can say if choices in response if len response choices is greater than zero so basically here I'm checking if we actually did get a response to begin with we let's assign that response to answer and we only want the text so we only want to get the actual code that's coming to us and I'll say choices 
and then zero because we won the first one and inside of here I'll put in text and then we will basically say print answer there we go let's save this and run this again and this time ignore everything from the top this is what we got over here so we get let my list one two three four five so created a list and then you use the i to iterate over this list in the while loop and here we go now we have a code that actually does create a list for us and then prints or logs he prints everything in that now we actually didn't identify what language we want this to be created in so if we come over here and say python and i'll just clear everything from the terminal so that it's easier to read now i'll save this and run it and now we have this created in python now we can do this again just another example i will say something like create a nested for loop in python or actually maybe we can do something like convert string to int in python and i'll save this and i'll run it and there you go it just generated that code for us in string so this is how easy it is to actually create a program that uses ai to switch normal text just like this into usable code for you to use now please make sure you do look at my existing app and website for this leave a like leave a comment let me know what you think of this and if there was any other way that i could have explained this to you easier thanks so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next episode